Hey, what's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Coach Coco and I love volleyball. So much so my channel's filled with tips, tricks, hacks, and anything you could ever need to know about volleyball. So today, let's talk about some of the do's and don'ts of volleyball. Let's get right into it. playing volleyball for a long time and I've seen a lot of different things I don't recommend and things I do recommend and this list is it can go on forever but we're gonna keep it nice short sweet and to the point so let's start with our don'ts absolutely don't number one do not wear long acrylic nails when you're playing volleyball. Trust me, believe me, I tried it. I was one of those people who was really, really flexing with the long acrylic nails and it was cute and it looked really cute, but it wasn't a good idea because I kept breaking this one nail off over and over again and it just became a huge problem for me. Also, I felt like I wasn't playing to the best of my ability because I felt like I didn't want to mess my nails up. Um, I cared about my nails and it just it kind of hindered me from blocking from hitting because I was like Oh my nails look good. I don't want to break them So I don't suggest that maybe you should get a gel nail or paint your nails during the season But long acrylic nails is not it now some people can do it, but I don't recommend it Number two do not get a new piercing before the season starts when I was 16 years old got an earring up here and it was just not a great time for me to have such things in my life because when you're sweating, sweat can get into open wounds because a piercing essentially is an open wound. And when you have that open wound, you know, you don't want things to get infected. It's really hard to keep it clean, especially since piercing, you have to keep clean so often. And I remember, and not only that, like a lot of the rules for volleyball, you can't have earrings showing. So some of these permanent earrings like I have, like I have some permanent earrings here, I would have to remove those during a game. And that's very difficult to do, especially if you got like earrings up in this cartilage area. So I would highly suggest that if you do get a piercing, please wait until the summertime or the off season to give it a chance to heal before you do that. And if you do decide to do it anyway, because you know, people do whatever they wanna do, look into some retainers. And retainers are kind of clear cased. So they, um, they're clear and they show up clear so you don't have to worry about them actually um, being visible for the referees to call you out on it. Number three, please don't think that if you wear glasses that you don't need to wear your glasses. I would rather you see than not see. So there are some things that you can invest in. There are some volleyball goggles. I know that some people may think they're unstylish. They're not the, you know, but you know, you have to protect your eyes and you have to be able to see. So volleyball goggles, there's also contact lenses. There are a lot of different options available for those who wear glasses and they want to be able to see during the season. Do not not wear your glasses because you think that you don't wanna break them. Glasses are expensive, but your face is more expensive. Number four, make sure you have your hair up. Now I've had it before. Listen, this is all from true experience. I've had styles where my hair was down and I thought I was gonna go out there and do something, you know, and then all of a sudden, this is me the whole game. You see how distracting that is? It's distracting, number one, because I'm so focused on my hair the entire time. I'm not focused on anything else. And number two, it takes away from the game. So make sure you have a style where your hair is out of your face. If you had bangs like I did, make sure your bangs are out of your face so that way you can see. It's really, really helpful. Just make sure that you don't have things in your face where you're gonna be squatting constantly and you have a chance to get hit in the face with the ball like I did. Number five, for individuals who do wear bras, I highly suggest that you invest in a sports bra that is effective at making sure that you're contained, you're safe, you can move, and it's safe for you. Because if you are an individual with larger chest, it's kind of painful when you're jumping up and down over and over again, and you're not really restrained to the way that um, it's comfortable. So making sure to look at those medium impact and high impact sports bras is very helpful because those are the ones that are, have more support in the straps and are really supportive in the chest region. So that way you can make sure that you are really supported. Low impact sports bras are for activities like yoga, 
um, perhaps activities that are a little bit more low impact, maybe some aerobics. So when you think about medium and high impact, those are for those sports like that you're moving, you're really fast, soccer, basketball, volleyball. Low impact is things that are a little bit more relaxing, yoga, aerobics, Pilates. So I just want you to keep that in mind. I would highly suggest investing in a nice sports bra. And number six, making sure that you're not wearing a tank top. So tank tops are a little bit different than racerbacks. This is a tank top, okay? This is a racerback. So make sure that you're wearing the appropriate clothing when you go to volleyball. Tank tops, while they are cute, usually they're seen as an undershirt, while racerbacks are really a fitness level shirt. So just it's just about that appearance because you want to look like a volleyball player, you want to dress like a volleyball player, so you can feel like a volleyball player. Now here are some do's for volleyball. Absolutely invest in a water bottle that you're going to love and care for and wash and clean. Don't just have a water bottle where you're not gonna wash it. Bacteria does breed like that, you guys. So you have to wash your water bottle. They have those little scrubber thingies that you can put in the water bottle to wash it. I know that I have a hydro truck and she's very skinny and it's very hard to wash her, so I have to get the scrubber thing. So if you need to invest in one of those, please do. Number two, make sure you get socks that fit you, that are comfortable. I was playing volleyball in the time where we had those long socks and it was just super cute, okay? But the long socks, so I didn't really necessarily have to worry about pulling my socks up all the time. But a lot of you guys are now wearing those ankle socks and some people are wearing um, the mid calf sock and the ankle sock. Now ankle socks sometimes aren't my favorite because they slip down into my shoe when I'm moving quickly. So make sure you get some socks that actually fit your foot where you're not constantly bending over to pull your sock up because that also could be extremely distracting for you and we don't want any kind of distraction from you taking away from the game. That's extremely helpful is to make sure to test your spandex. What I mean by testing your spandex is most spandex are full coverage. You wanna make sure that your spandex isn't rolling up on your body and some of us, the curvier individuals like myself, the spandex does roll up our body a little bit and sometimes it's really hard and we have to constantly keep pulling it down. If you've been in that place, please raise your hand, put a hand emoji in the chat. I've been there. I've rose, like sit there and just keep pulling it up and keep pulling it up. But if you test your spandex ahead of time, you won't have to worry about having to keep pulling it up. Remember that appropriate clothing is always a do. So I really hope that this video did give you some tips on things you should or shouldn't do during volleyball, especially when it comes to the attire and things like that. These are some things that I have noticed throughout my years playing and some things that I've seen uh, players do that I've coached. So I want you to take these into consideration. You don't have to follow everything, but I just wanted to put it on your radar so you can kind of keep in mind some of the things that are important to remember, especially as you go into your volleyball journey. So make sure you that you like, comment, subscribe, and share this with somebody who needs it. All right, I'll see you guys next time. Come for me, my baby. Uh -huh. I really tap on no, 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 no